Hey guys, Glenn here. You're probably watching this video because you got the blob of death. Well, so do I, and I'm gonna show you how I fix it on my printer. It's relatively simple, believe it or not, as long as you didn't do too much damage. So, let's check out my printer, see how much damage there was, and go through how to fix it. Now first off, I'm going to tell you the reason why this happened is because I'm lazy and I'm always in a rush and I run too many businesses at once and I put this on probably like 11, 12 o'clock at night and I didn't look at the first layer go down. I should have and uh, you should always see the first layer. So if, if I if I if I watched the first layer go down or at least check the printer afterwards, I wouldn't be in this mess right now. So. Um, usually I don't have to worry about it. Usually I can just press the button and go, but I have 16 printers that I run all the time and I just hit it and go and then sometimes just go to sleep. Not the smartest thing to do, uh, so I don't suggest it, but this is why it happened to me. Well, here she is and uh, obviously something's wrong here. Oh man, this is not good. I got a blob of death. Not what you want to see when you wake up in the morning. So, um, good thing I ran out of filament because this would be much, much worse, but this is pretty bad and uh, probably a good case to show you guys how to fix this if it happens. Okay, I moved it up to my desk where I can plug it in and work on it without disturbing the other printers. So, let's plug it in. Alright, plugged in. Now. First things first, make sure you clear out the fan. Make sure there's nothing in there so that this can cool down to proper temperature, okay? Um, now this is pretty bad. Now you're, you definitely don't, see how like the wires are completely engulfed here? You definitely don't want to, to just rip it off. Leave it, okay? If you can heat this up with its own power you might be able to just lightly take it off and then clean it up so let's see the fans are moving so that's a good thing it's not gonna see that there's a problem yet okay so we're gonna preheat now do this under your own do this under your own risk I'm not responsible for your fires or whatever this can promote <laughs> I don't know I don't know your specific situation but most likely it's something like this I'm not responsible for what you do though now we're gonna heat it up and it might throw an error realizing something's wrong but probably not it's probably just gonna heat up and it's not moving so it's not gonna have any kind of error this actually didn't throw any error for me since it was in this position for instance uh, because I could tell that because it just ran out of the filament and it was it was looking for more filament so it would have been way worse if I left it uh, or if I if I didn't uh, run out of filament so thank you for that very glad I ran out of filament now let's heat it up and I'll be right back when this thing is heated all right let's see here It's regulating its own temperature, so that's good. The problem is, it's not heating up very well, so I might have to use a heat gun. I'm actually going to, a um, little trick here, I don't know if you guys know this, you press this down, and then let's raise it up so we can get at it a little bit easier because I'm kind of like bending down here. All right. This is really bad. I wish I wasn't holding my camera. It would be so much easier. But take that off so it gets out of my way. You just want to put slight downward pressure on here, but it's not. It needs to get soft, is the thing, you know? So. It's all the way up here, as you can see. So this is going to be really fun. I'm going to have to probably take a heat gun to this. Um, heat up real, real hot with its own power as well. Um, and hopefully that 
will do the trick. Okay, so I set up my little tripod so I have to mess with this um, holding with one hand. I'm gonna try to boost it. I'm gonna heat just the hot end. So settings, temperature, nozzle. Let's go to like 250. See if I could do it. If you start seeing smoke and all kinds of stuff, you might wanna power it down because it is covered, unfortunately. Okay, we're getting some melting action here. You can see over here, see how it's melting out? So, it might be a little messy. I'm gonna get a cardboard box or something. It's starting to melt away, but I'm gonna get a heat gun. So hopefully it's good on this circuit breaker. We'll find out. So you wanna do this slowly. I'll turn this off so you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me on this. So you're gonna to wanna to do this slowly and patiently or else you're gonna regret it, okay? It's getting awfully gummy. But you really want to be careful on this left side because of the wires. Because they are very, very, very brittle wires. And I can't see anything yet. Oh, alright. So the whole thing is loosening up on the bottom. Which is really going to help. So I'm slowly pulling it down. Hopefully I have a camera at the right angle here. You see this? Okay. Now, pliers might work a little better, but we'll see how this continues. You can see the hot end now. This is definitely the worst I've ever had it. For sure. I wouldn't wish this on my greatest enemy. I'm gonna get a paper towel so I can take this off. I use it quick. You see it's kind of smoking. It's not supposed to be that hot, PLA. Let me try to get it at get at it over here. You're gonna need a lot of patience, guys. A lot of patience. Which I don't always have. Trust me. I don't wanna do this at all. So I'm gonna be watching the next, the first layer for a while. <laughs> this sucks. But you see how I'm pulling it down? It is getting malleable. You just don't want to overheat too many components. It's kind of a balancing act here. Get it from the back. Look at that. Melting right off, baby. But the real moment of truth is going to be right here. I might need to get new wires for this, but last time I didn't need to do that. So, and there's only been it's only my second one here because I'm usually pretty good at getting that first layer down. Oh, oh. Get really, really loose. I'm the truth here. Oh, baby. Oh, I think I saved it. Oh, 
Okay, so you can see where I'm at right now. That's right there, those little wires. That's the most dangerous part that you really gotta worry about. Uh, me. These wires right here. And you can see it's smoking because it's not supposed to be that hot, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna try to get as much stuff off as possible. So it is regulating it, it's just, I mean, even even the fan shroud is getting too hot, so. But it's all melting off. You see, that's basically the gist of it. That's what you gotta do. Just try not to overheat it too much, as you'll break components. It's a delicate balance of just picking at it and getting it clean. And then, I'll show you what you do after this. Don't forget your trusty needle nose. It just keeps on coming. I'm gonna get as much off as possible. Okay, and lastly, you're gonna take a piece of paper towel. Make sure that you got enough paper towel. Do not touch this with your bare hands. Maybe you wear gloves or something if you're worried about it. Because this will burn if this gets on you. So you just want to keep on dabbing it until you get everything off. And get another clean paper towel, do it again. Alright, my last step, I'm going to heat it up to like 270 and let it really melt off. But you're probably not gonna wanna breathe this stuff in because PLA is not supposed to be that hot. Watch your hands. I almost got hit by a plastic shard falling down. There seems to be a little plastic inside the actual fan, so. Um, I'm gonna take this off. Don't forget to get these things. I have links in the description. It's, they're awesome. Okay, so the fan shroud actually melted. But not the biggest deal. I could just take off the pieces that are a problem. You can always print yourself another one, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to bend it out of the way, and it looks good as new. So let's put this back on. And she's all fixed. Okay, so I was able to save this printer, thank God, without ordering any extra parts. It is going to be a little smelly, and also it probably will drip on your prints. So try to print a test print, uh, and make sure that for the next hour or two it's going to print. Watch it, um, you know, make sure that it's, it's going to be safe, and you got enough off of it. It's always going to be kind of dirty, but what I've noticed is the first test print that I printed just melted everything off that you know imperfections i cleaned it up one more time and then it was good so hopefully i was able to help someone out with this uh if you guys had this issue please give me a like i appreciate you guys subscribing i appreciate you guys watching my videos even if you didn't have this happen yet you probably will because everyone does um it's extremely common it's less common on quality printers however i think it really is more about the bed um because whenever it comes off the bed is the issue the first layer make sure you guys watch your first layer or else you're you could probably have this issue pretty quickly thank you guys so much for watching watch these videos next if you want to make money with your 3d printer